baby, I love your family. You know that. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, so it's just a coincidence that every time I have my family FaceTime, that little 15-minute period each week, you're on Xbox Live with all your friends. I mean, yeah, the way you put that, it is kind of weird, but yeah, it's a coincidence. You love my family? Yes. You really love my family? Yeah, I feel like I've made that abundantly clear. Okay. What's my little sister's name then, Blake? I know your little sister's name. Okay. And welcome back to who wants to be in a relationship. Blake, we need your answer. What is your girlfriend's little sister's name? Is it A, Jasmine, B, Becca, C, Bella, or is it D, Ella? I mean, this is funny. Uh, well, I know it's not Jasmine, because that's her hot cousin's name. I mean, normal looking cousin's name. Was kind of buzzed last time I saw her at the 4th of July barbecue. So that Ella very well could have been Bella with a B in the front. Looks like that extra Moscow mule isn't doing you any favors, Blake. That was doing me a lot of favors at the barbecue, let me tell you. I mean, her family is just brutal. Um, but in any case, I'm gonna have to go with D, Ella. And that's your final answer, Blake. Final answer. Though you had a slight buzz, Mr. Blake knows the name of his girlfriend's little sister he's met over 25 times on FaceTime. And it's a dang good thing, Blake, because you will not be sleeping on the couch tonight. No, I won't. Oh, yes, he will. Oh. No, I won't. Who? You honestly thought I wasn't going to know the name of one of your loved ones? It's kind of hard to tell. It seems like you're never really present. Who? I'm never present. How about you on NFL Sunday? I mean, it's like you'd rather literally be anywhere else in the world other than on the couch with me watching football. I love watching the game with you. You actually love watching the game? I love it. Okay. So what is the name of my favorite football player? Oh, come on. Kayla, we need your answer. Is it A, Tom Brady? Is it B, Michael Jordan? C, Babe Ruth? Or D, Aaron Rodgers? I can't believe this. Just admit it. You don't like watching the games with me. I'd like to phone a friend. You'd like to phone a friend. Okay. Well, you don't have any friends, so that's going to be tough. And who would you like to call, Kate? I'd like to call Blake's boy, Connor. Yeah, she would call Connor. Let me tell you, she loves Connor. And what does Connor do for a living? He's an automobile tech. He drives for Uber. Let's settle down here a bit. All right, let's get the very knowledgeable and very unemployed Connor on the line. Connor. Hello? Connor, we're here with your boy Blake's girlfriend, and she needs some help. <laughs> Wow, I thought you were going to call me way later. It's not even midnight. <laughs> Connor, your 30 seconds starts now. Connor, hey. You still trying to hang later? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so down. This dinner shouldn't last like too long. I'll text you when I get home. Yeah, you will. I just have a quick question. Uh, what's Blake's favorite football player's name? Current favorite, Aaron Rodgers. Oh yeah, Aaron Rodgers, the discount double check guy. It's called the championship belt celebration. All right, thank you. Uh, you know, Kayla, uh, uh. sounds like Connor may have a little bit of feelings. For no, 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 we're just friends, like really good friends. Sounds like Connor may be the perfect candidate for a menage a trois. Ah, that's for another show. What is your answer? Answer, Kayla. Aaron Rodgers, D, final answer. You clearly know your car insurance advertisements. Looks like there will be no bill splitting time. Uh, that's such bull. She has State Farm. It's the only reason she knew the answer. I make more money than him. You want to unwrap that for a sec? Oh! I mean, seriously? I'm honestly way too good for you, Blake. Ooh! Oh. I gotta say, you're taking those jabs like a bitch, pal. Oh, uh, give me a break. Why don't we ask that question? Am I too good for you? Oh, really? We're going there? Answer the question, Blake. Do you think Kayla is too good for you? It's like the dad who walks in with the number one dad coffee mug. I mean, that's not quantifiable. It's all subjective. Hello? Answer the question, Blake. Is Kayla too good for you? Is it A, yes? B, no? Is it C, this guy must have an absolute hog? So no? Or D, uh, maybe. You know what? I don't know. Why don't we just ask the audience? Right on. Always needing the approval of others. Oh, he always needs the approval of others. So we're going to get it for him. We're going to ask the audience, is Kayla too good? Yes, sir. My man here be packing, taking home Don Peace. C, final answer. Am I on TV? Becca, I never loved you. Call, call me back when you can. And our audience has selected C, Blake. Your answer. The audience. How about that? Whoa, whoa, you'd like to f the audience? She's right here. What do you think about this, Kayla? He probably does, but don't worry. He won't do a very good job. Ooh, Connor is still waiting at home. Don't forget about that. I'm gonna go with B, no. B, 
because I provide a ton of value in this relationship, okay? And that's not subjective. So why don't you lock that in, Chief? Ooh. Blake, I am sorry, but you're not good enough for your girlfriend, Caitlin. Aw, oh, bull Truth comes out. Wait, hang on. I'm getting word from our producers that you may still be able to answer a question to see if you are good enough. We're gonna ask you one more question I'm here. I'm good. Ben. I don't Blake, want- Blake, when is your anniversary? Hmm? When is your anniversary? Anniversary for what? You really don't know our anniversary. Oh, my anniversary with her. Like the day that which I started loving her, which honestly, I mean, that's every day. Uh, Blake, we're gonna need a check. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Let's just let's just close out. Yo, you guys were great. Thank you so much for the hospitality, but we're gonna get going. Baby, One Tree Hill's on in 30 you're minutes. You're not going to white wine in One Tree Hill, you way out of this one. We had our fun, we played your game, and now I need to go home before I get in some serious shit. Why don't we just call it even? Yeah. Like, let's just Blake, say. I cannot accept the $20 bill you just tried to slip me, but I will accept. Your answer. Right, yeah, we're gonna get going now. What? Blake, is it A, April 26th? B, April 16th? Is it C, April- 50-50. Split it down the middle, okay? Because it's in the teens. I know that. I'm hoping the gentleman at home could take some notes. Let's give him the 50-50. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Looks like you're gonna have to blindly guess your girlfriend a two and a half years anniversary. I'm gonna go with April 26th, final answer, and I know what happens now. You're gonna say, correct, he wins all the money, there's a big celebration with all the confetti. We're big fans of the show, we'll just watch it on the rerun. Okay? We're gonna take off. Blake, I'm sorry, but you are incorrect. Wow. Just wow. It's over. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. This has been another edition of Who like Wants to Be like in a Relationship. <laughs>